Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, we were looking for cactus flesh, and turns out I had a base on a planet that would find me just that. I just need to look for it in the general area I'm at. Also, well, there's also this, so I figured might as well grab that too. While I'm thinking about it. Grab any goodies that might be in here. Ooh, a convergence cube. Ain't that lucky. Ain't that lucky indeed. So I can put that here. Put this here. Throw this in here. And throw this here to then sort later. I'm a little way from my... Um, my freighter right now because I'm in a different system but where I'm at will give me plenty of cactus flesh should you know I forgot these things were that big Easy. should I find it in a nearby pocket uh, more likely than not I'll have to fly around in my ship a little bit to find some but still I'm on the right planet to find it a decent amount of cactus flesh, which is good enough for me. Alright. And might as well take out these guys too for a little oxygen. Oh, I've never identified this plant ever? Well, some money for me now. Ta-da. Alright. Now I should get my ship and start looking because I am on the right planet type for it. Alright. Just need to find a pocket of it. That doesn't look... You're kidding. You're kidding. Oh my god. I don't have anything free. I basically blew that up for nothing. God damn it. Oh man. <laughs> I'm so annoyed at myself now. That's uh, fine. It's fine. That's why is why is this in my inventory? Ah, oh well. Put that there. All right. Now next time I do that, I can actually at least get a chance of. Hey, there we are. There's the cactus flesh. All right. I'll need to collect quite a few samples. And it would be best if I get all of them that I can. Ooh, navigational data stuff. Don't need it, but it's there. It's good to know. Uh, I've never identified these plants either. Well, probably should work on that. And here we are. The Kino Cactus. Gives me all the cactus flesh I need. Especially the biggins. I will be getting a lot of cactus flesh off of all of these. I will be somewhere in the thousands by the time I am done. I can guarantee the yield is very high on these. Why is my... <laughs> Why is my multi-tool not popped up? Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's a weird bug. That occasionally happens, but it's always weird every time it does. Alright, time to use my miner on these dihydrogen crystals. It's worth it. I will focus on the flesh afterwards. There we go. Alright, we're good. Now, more cactus flesh. All right. Oh, that's a ship that's landed over there. Well, if I'm done with this in time, I might go check it out. Yeah, I had a feeling temperature would be falling eventually. Desert planet, when the sun's down, gets cold. Makes sense. Not much else that's going to be creating and retaining heat, as it were. All right, hopefully I'm able to get to there in time. Since I have now completed 
what I set out to do, which was get a whole bunch of cactus flesh. Oh, no! Damn it. Oh, well. I probably wasn't going to make it anyway, even if I wasn't semi-distracted by dihydrogen crystals. Which is always a useful resource. Always, 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 always. Ah, uh, well. It was worth a shot. Okay. Well, I got the cactus flesh, which is what I needed. And, oh. Well, hi there. Run through you. I, I still have some minerals that I never identified. Wow. I did not really scan this planet all that well, did I? <laughs> ah, well. Either way, I got what I came for. Star bulbs are next, I think. Star bulbs wouldn't be that difficult, I don't think. I'm not running away without these. It's very hard to find those. Alright. Now let's head back to my base, because that will allow me to teleport back to where I ought to go. No issues. Whee! And there we go. Landing. Bye-bye. Alright, let's get back into my little hut here. It's good for the purposes. Ah, yes, viscous fluids. That is a couple steps into... Uh, runaway mold. Cool. So throw that in there. Create living slime. All right. This living slime, I think, then becomes runaway mold. Also, hey. Uh, buildable technology. Is there anything there? Just hazard protection unit. And then everything else is the timber, stone, and alloy structure stuff. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. Alright. Current location. Emergency broadcast repeater. Oh, that's for the... Uh, that's for the... Settlement. That's what that's for. Uh, this is apparently where my mission objective is. I'm assuming that's also where my sh frigate is. I'm assuming. Because it's not telling me a previous location one. So this has got to be the same one. I'm assuming. I'm probably wrong. But if I'm wrong, at least they have a teleporter so I can get it right. Okay, I was doing a weird floating thing there. <laughs> Don't know what to think about that. Locate a multi-tool technology merchant. Okay. Uh, my frigate is here. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Told you I would get in the thousands. I told you. 1,236. And I can throw this in here. Right there. Beautiful. And now I'm set on that. And I can get rid of this crap where it's supposed to be. Alright. Go. Whoops. That was not what I wanted. I wanted this. There we go. And put that here. Perfect. Beautiful. Um... I might use this at some point. I just don't know when. Okay, so the living slime is done. Put that in here to get to runaway mold. Perfect. Fantastic. Uh, recharge it a little bit. There we are. I guess I gotta go to a multi-tool technology merchant and use up some nanites. I guess. I don't know why they want me to do that, but okay. 
I understood the Sentinels, and that was about it. Offer. Show me their new stock, a powerful modification for my multi-tool. Okay, so I just get one for 60. Oh, it's a bulk caster module. <laughs> After I've put all of my stuff into Pulse Bitter, you want me to put on a bolt caster module. <sighs> okay. Bypass energy lattice. All it does is up damage by one. When ready, return to space to make contact with Apollo. I did the thing. Can I break down the thing without screwing up the mission? I hope so. I hope so. Because I don't want pulse spitter crap <laughs> anymore. Like I said, I'm going full on into pulse spitter, not bolt caster. Did I say... I'm, I'm now unsure if I said that right. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right. Away we go. A wee. Return to space. And there we go. You're not alone. I know you, traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. There is no need to hurry. Ask who they are. You will find us when the time is right. Trying to maintain loam. Okay. So that wasn't Apollo. Are you ready? Make sure you are. This job isn't going to be a small one. You might not be heading back to that base of yours for a while. Okay. My base is kind of floating with me, so works fine. Good. Let the hunt begin. I've detected a Corvax installation on that world of yours. The interface interference in your transmissions is a giveaway. It might be disguised in the style of another species, but don't be fooled. The synthetics delight in espionage. Um, you're aware you're a robot, right? I'm not robotic. I was born, just like you were. But this is no world for flesh. My brain, what organs I have left, everything was transferred to the shell. This is who I am. Oh, so you're a cyborg. Okay, you're General Grievousing up. Okay, fair enough. I feel sorry for them. <laughs> Why? I would do the same thing. I would do the exact same thing. What are you talking about? How did this happen? I took my revenge when the time came. That is all you need to know. So, start from the hypothesis that the Sentinels use these portals to get around. How do they activate it? We need to observe. We need to summon them. And what better way than to attack a secret Corvax factory? They are both robotic life forms. Too much in common. Too much coincidence. Enter the factory and hack the terminal within. If we gain data about the Sentinels, good. If not, we'll have summoned enough of them to trace any energy spikes on that world of yours. The portals will be ours in no time. Okay. Apollo nods at me. For the first time, I sense respect in their gesture. The approximate coordinates for the hidden facility are logged in my starship's navic computer. Okay. And it is on Iguchi, I'm sure. As I spin around to eventually face Iguchi. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not even... There we go. See, I told you it was on Iguchi. All right. Onward we go. Whee! I don't need there. I need. Whoa! I didn't expect to be surrounded. 
by asteroids the moment I got out of pulse, but okay. Alright. I need the tritium anyway, because I need to recharge that. Not that. Pulse. There we go. Suspect Corvax facility. That's where I need to go. Alright. Beginning suborbital flight. And into the atmosphere I go. The Phyllis. The Phyllis. Let me try that sentence again, shall I? Uh, the facility should be easy to spot from. Probably here. Land to begin search. Or I could just search from, you know, my ship. Well, how about that? It's right there. Who could have guessed it? Alright. There we are. Oh. Oh. Well, all right then. They already have guards around this facility. That can't be good. I should probably, not that, recharge the mining beam. And recharge... Oh, I didn't realize that needed to be charged, but... Or recharged. There we go. Got the pulse spitter. And we're good. At least I think so, anyway. Good enough. This is not the doorway. Is someone bumping some real... <laughs> bassy music in there, or what? Because I'm hearing it in my headphones. Well, hi. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, the... It's something with the facility itself making all that noise. If it was IRL, it'd be much louder. Oh, it's a reinforced door. Well, hi. I got to fight you eventually. Might as well do it now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. I'm going to need to... Okay. Whew. Okay. Recharge immediately. Yeah. No, I'm working on it. All right. Plasma launcher. This is probably what we're going to have to use for a while. Okay. I don't I don't remember how to do the plasma launcher. Okay. Okay. That's the one. Okay, time to run, time to run, time to run a little bit, time to run a little bit. Woo, woo -hoo. At least the jetpack is useful for that regard. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha, okay. Alright. Okay, alright. As long as I keep shooting... Bust open that door. All right, fantastic. Whoo! <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that could have gone worse. Encrypted data. I'll take that. Store shield. I would absolutely need that earlier. <laughs> I'm just looting everything while I'm in here. Ooh, nanites. Make up for the nanites I had to spend on the stupid thing that I didn't need.
facility. Oh boy. Uh, chromatic metal. Cool. Pure ferrite. I have plenty of that. Sodium. Plenty of that. The terminal houses an upgrade module for my exosuit. However, I find few clues for Apollo. It seems a Corvax within left this world many days ago, apparently recalled on a priority transmission to their species' flotilla. Something has them worried. This place seems to have been more than just a factory. It was a home to the Corvax who lived within its walls. It appears that they were experimenting with autonomy from their collective. So they were trying to be outside of the Convergence. One of the internal sensors has recorded movement within the facility. It shows me footage of the vents at my feet. There is something in here with me. Shine a light on it. I shine a light upon it. It is a small hairy creature, shaking and afraid. It cries out. The animal appears to have lived here for quite some time. There is a nest in the corner, vestiges of food upon a small dish, even a few clumsy toys and trinkets. The animal seems to have been a companion to the Corvax. My scanner tells me that the creature is gravely ill. It will die no matter what intervention occurs. Feed it something, at least. Try. I feed the creature. Nervously, it takes the carbon and begins to eat. A few moments later, it violently coughs up much of its little meal, only to try to continue the process, shivering with every mouthful. I move on from the factory complex, leaving the animal to its fate. No, can't I just take it with me? Also, one of them w is wandering underneath the geometry of the base. <laughs> it's a little weird. But okay, whatever. Ow, ow. You're able to hit me anyway? Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, ow. I'm getting out of here. Time to bail. Time to bail. There we go. Got you. And that thing's stuck in there. I'm fine with that. As long as it's stuck in there, it's not hurting me. That's the important part. It's stuck in there, it's not hurting me. Oh, back. And they both got out. Oh, sh Hey! That's incredibly useful against those. I should be using that more often. <laughs> Didn't know it would be so useful. Ow! Bastard. Okay. Alright. Alright. Oh, ow! That hurt. Got you. And I finish you. Oh yeah. Whew. Well, one of the animals around me is angry, but that's fine. You can be angry. Oh! That looked like a walker. Oh boy. Oh boy. Time to run. Time to get out of here. Holy hell's bells! Time to get out of here! <laughs> ah, time to run. Time to run! <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, hey, if I'm already here, might as well use some of the firepower I have at my disposal. Alright. Okay. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. That's all I can do. Keep moving. All right. Keep moving. Keep fighting it. That's all we can do. Oh. So it has armor. It's armor plating. If I take it out. Okay. I can't always hit the target I want to hit, unfortunately seems like, but that's fine. Whoops. Definitely didn't hit what I want to hit. 
Oh, geez. Okay. All right. Well, so much for that plan. Okay. Whoa. Game froze. Okay. There we go. Whew. Okay. <laughs> the game freezing made me worried for half a second. I've never seen that before. All right. Did plenty of damage with that one. Oh, come on. Got not getting nearly... Nearly enough. Oop, and... Oh, come on. I just wanted to loot the body of the walker. Come on, let me do it. All right. Let me loot the thing. All right. I'm going to run towards it. And break this down. There we go. Where'd the thing at drop go? There it is. Hey, got a walker brain. All right. Okay. That ain't too bad. All right. Well, uh, there's plenty of uh, <laughs> collateral damage there. But we managed to take down a walker. It's pretty cool. All right. Cool. All right, let's break this. Put this here. Okay. Okay. Uh, put this in cargo. All right. Now let him keep searching. Return to space to make contact. With Apollo. First, I'm gonna head to my base. Just uh get away from this uh, at least head closer to my base. My base is quite a bit away. <sighs> Destroyed 30 sentinels and one walker. Let's be honest with what I did here. Did a whole lot of combat with those <sighs> those things. Whew. But yeah, I'm thinking I had the correct idea Fighting it for my ship with its advanced firepower compared to on the ground was definitely a better idea. Alright. I think it's uh, about time to at least float around in low orbit. Or rather, underneath the atmosphere rather than heading out to space right now. And in the meantime, I shall put everything away where it ought to be. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oops, that was the wrong place. There we go. Better. A walker brain. Got a lot of quad servos there, too. Where have I been putting the pugnium? Oh, right there. Might as well put this alongside it. Let's see why not. And quad servos. I have no idea what those are for. Where they came from. Are those from the Walker dudes? Patrol unit. It was from the little four-legged doggo walker things. Okay, cool. For lack of a better phrase. Alright, uh... Okay. Runaway mold. And then I cluster. Hey, there we go. Good. Quick transfer to exosuit. And refuel. Yeah, might as well do just normal. Carbon. Okay. Whew. All right. <laughs> oh, fighting that walker. That was something. <laughs> 
Hey, I did it though. I did it. That way you can't say I didn't, because I did it. My freighter's uh, oh my freighter's hyperdrive is just as empty. <laughs> I was curious. All right, Corvax. Whoops, convergence cube. It goes right there. What am I thinking? Um. Yeah, get knap. Okay, cool. I was just figuring out where I put stuff. Okay. Oops, I keep doing that on accident. That's dumb of me. Alright, uh, Lemium goes there. The Herox goes there. I have star bulbs here. I have a thousand of them. That goes there. And heat capacitor. Okay. It's polyfiber. There we go. And now I can make the circuit board. Cool. I'm going to put this here, because why not? Alright. Now we head out into space. <laughs> okay. And fully in space. Good work. Your attack on that factory paid off. Did you get any useful data? No. No matter. We have what we need. Are you sure? I recorded countless signal flares when the sentinels started to appear. Energy streams sparked beneath the planet's surface, moving from monolith to monolith. We must be on the right track. Examine these structures. They are all linked. I know it. I'll attune your scanner to the sentinel energy signals. We shall soon have our prey. Good luck. I'll speak to you on the other side. Okay. Bring word of Apollo's plan to Nada. I should probably do that. Yeah, I should probably do that. There we go. Break up some of these a little bit. There we go. All right. And now let's head in to this thing. After I break up all the asteroids in the way. Ooh. Put some gold away too. Initiating landing sequence. All right. Honestly, I don't know what Nada will think after all of that. Oh, I can spend my salvage data. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a great idea. Well, that's an interesting looking ship. I always see the coolest ships whenever I come in. It's so cool. Alright. Let's go talk to Nada. Aha. What new knowledge, Traveler? Is Apollo Entity known to you? Let's bring up the plan. A traveler entity that is not known to Nada, yet they know Artemis Entity, who themselves no longer recalls Nada. You bring news that alarms Nada. What else should our home fail to see? Nada looks troubled. They retreat into themselves. What should I do? Polo Friend has kept us safe. Nada's carapace has been Nada's only for many years, outside the cycle of data. We help others escape, those who might process our reality. Nada has peace here. Those who hunt us cannot see us. Nada does not want it to end. But better to understand, to know what comes for us. Do not stop on our account. So basically, we just got his blessing. 
Ooh, and we got Quicksilver, too. Interesting. Let's talk to Paolo. He might have some interesting insight. Nada is alarmed by Apollo, friend. I am not. Is it, it is exciting to see where our model fails. If we are wrong, then there are more friends than we realized. More friends and more stars. Ask about the Sentinels. Novel Apollo allies himself with the Viking. Enjoys to hunt with Sentinels. Hunt the Sentinels, rather. Good, but it will not work. They will always come. It is beyond us to change. Everywhere our home has been, the hunters will follow. So you're saying the Sentinels are an immovable point in this universe. Much like this is an immovable point. Always constant, never changing. Interesting. Interesting. Well, might as well learn some new things while I'm here. Ooh. Hollow doors. Straight corridors. Square rooms. These are large prefabs. Cool. Glass roofed corridor. So I could at least see my outside of wherever I'm at. Large window. Cool. A lot of these require silver. Odd. A lot more than I thought they would. Angled window. Okay. Hmm. Technology modules. That's where I should be at. Um, appearance modifier. Eh, not necessarily all that needed. Uh, antimatter reactor. What? Oh, it can convert reality paradoxes into antimatter. That's a thing I would need storm crystals for, and it would be a good use for them. But I would use up all of my salvage data that I currently have. Uh, I don't necessarily want to do that. Oh. Oxygen harvester. Huh. That must be new. An autonomous atmosphere extractor it can be left to collect and purify oxygen from the air. Because I had already gotten these things. I guess I never got that. Huh. Interesting. Transport much? Oh. That'd be cool. I got these. Aquatic. I can build underwater bases. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Uh, decorative modules, posters, decals. What I'm looking for is more tech stuff. This is illumination. Industrial modules. Okay. Agricultural model modules. Okay. Models. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I will learn this as I go through with the farmer, so I don't need to spend stuff on that. In fact, I'm kind of unsure if I want to be spending money on anything else. Stone roofing. So I'm not even getting everything. I could go further into roofing and stuff. Primitive shapes, storage units, which I already have all of them. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Small prefabs. L-shaped corridors. T-shaped corridors. Huh. 
Aha. Access ramp. Might as well get that. Ladder. So I can make multiple levels. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. All right. Well, I think I've used up a significant amount of my salvage data. That's a lot of those. <laughs> it's a lot of blueprints I've just unlocked. Wowzers. Okay. What is this here? Synthesis Laboratory. Oh, I could learn to make more of these things. Unstable plasma for the other thing. Uh, oh, I would need a lot of oxygen for that. Well, I mean, I guess not a lot, but significant amounts. Some of this I'm learning from the scientist, so I'm not going to worry about that. This, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't learn from the scientist. Right? I wouldn't learn that, right? Right? I have no idea. I have literally no idea. I guess I should probably leave some of these alone. And once I'm done... Wait, no. You know, the scientist, I've already... I've already learned a lot of things from the scientist. And I think all he's asking for is data now, so I don't think the scientist will get me much further in this. And here's where I learn all of these. Hmm. Hmm. And then I learn these highly refined technologies, advanced crafted products, enhanced products and manufactured products, and alloy metals, enriched alloy metals. Okay. I'll come back to this one I know for sure that I've exhausted everything I've learned from everything else. Come back when I know for sure. Exocraft research. Uh, you were starship research. Uh, let me look at what we got here. Cadmium drive. Um, I'm pretty sure I won't learn this from anyone else, right? I don't think so. Then again, it is cheap. So maybe I might learn it from another source. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't want to spend resources on things I might learn later from another source. Uh, mm. It's annoying. It's annoying because I don't know. <laughs> if I knew, it would be so much easier. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is cool looking. Hicksman the Undaunted Starship. That is fucking incredible. I mean, if I could, I'd have the gold be more of a platinum color, but still, they're just fucking incredible. 73. I don't know what the 73 is supposed to be for, but still, it looks great. It looks fantastic. Alright, it's time to get out of here <laughs> before I devote myself more to ship envy. So, continue with Apollo's plan. Search for the source of Sentinel Energy Trace. Return to space to begin the search. Okay, I guess we will go and do that. Follow the Sentinel energy trace. Do a scan. Ley line link detected. Um, apparently, your pain's a 
Well, if that's the case... Alright, suborbital flight. Alright. Right ourselves. Ley line source. Approximate location. Alright. So, with that in mind... Okay. Ooh. I need some of those. Alright, I'm gonna land my ship nearby, and then I'm gonna end the episode here for right now. Mainly because I have a call from my coworker also going. Okay, so, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos, and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so you can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat, playing games and... Well, trying to follow Apollo's plan and uh, figure out where the Sentinels might be coming from. And with it, figure out why they are an immovable point in the entire universe. And uh, from there, maybe find out what the fabric of the universe actually is. Hopefully. For you!